Well then, folks, what a fantastic win that was for the Wolves. It's a 4-1 away win against Brentford. And I don't think any of us would have expected a win as big as that. I'm not going to say it was overly uh, comprehensive for Wolves, but I don't think, because I don't think it was... Um, Maybe it could, could be really hard to say that the result flattered Wolves, but we were so clinical today, and that's something that we've not really seen enough of from Wolves. And what a way to end such an awful run of form away from home, and such an awful run of form in, in games in London as well. Um, starting lineup was exactly as I predicted on the uh, predicted on the preview. If you don't watch his, watch the previews, even if you just watch them for the team lineups, because I'm, I'm pretty close most of the time. Um, if not, we upload them on our TikTok as well. If you want to follow us over there, um, but it was a really tidy performance from Wolves, and we couldn't really get off to a, a better start. Really, by the way, obviously I'm not in the usual um, sort of environment. I'm in a lodge for this week. I'll be back for the Everton game, but um, on my own in a lodge. Uh, loving life. What had the it's got the darts on now, but just watch the Wolves game. Got football manager on my laptop there. Um, but a really good win for Wolves. And really, like I said, couldn't really get off to a, a, a better start. Really, Mario Lamina in and amongst the goals once again. Um, good recycle of the play from Pablo Sarabia, who's slowly but surely showing that quality which we expected from him. There's still more that I think Pablo can add to his game. But the fact that now he's getting amongst the assists as well, I think is a huge, huge boost for Wolves and adding that creativity. And it's good to see Mario Lamina amongst the goals again. And it's not just the first, not just the second time, but in recent weeks, it's what, the fourth goal, maybe even fifth goal off the top of my head. I think Mario Lamina could be amongst, all right, ignoring Pedro Neto's injury, um, I think... Mario Lamina could be my player of the season so far. If we do, and I'm sure we might ask that question on our podcast, but I think Mario Lamina is my player of the season so far. I think he's been absolutely phenomenal. Of course, he has got that rash decision in him at times. We saw the red card against Villa. But again, today, I thought he's great. And so was Yao Gomez. I think those two, the last two games, including that game against Chelsea, were phenomenal. And obviously, he gets that goal again. Brilliant header. Finds that right place at the right time. And it's such, you know, we thought Ruben Evers was going to be a big loss. And I think at times he has been, Ruben. But Mario Lamina just adds that little bit more bite to the midfield. Maybe technically uh, Ruben Neves was a little bit better. But I think the physicality that Mario Lamina brings suits a team like Wolves a lot more in the position that we're in, in the table right now. I think the thing that did suit Wolves, though, was the fact that Brentford wanted to come out and play. They didn't sit deep. They didn't defend. They wanted, especially at home. That's how Thomas Frank has always played with them. It's how they played against us at Molyneux the year we went up. If you remember under Nuno in the Championship, there were a lot of teams. The teams we tended to struggle against were the teams that sat really deep and, and you know, towards the back. But... Um, Oh, Michael Smith just hit a brilliant one thirty. <laughs> um, but today, you know, and Brentford, I remember, came to Molyneux that season and... and um, attacked and we, we smashed them 3 0 off the top of my head. But again, the, the same sort of thing today. They went and they attacked, and that suited Wolves down to the ground because we could play counter attack in football. But also, Brentford are awful in, in regards to their distribution for the back. And Nathan Collins and Ethan Pinnock, I thought, were really poor. But Nathan Collins may as well have kept his wool shirt from last season because. Lopetegui obviously sold him. There was a lot of debate about that situation. He's been okay for Brentford. I think he's just come back from a small knock. Um, but my word, he, he's gifted us two goals today. One of them obviously for, um, for well, the second one was for Huang. But Huang did really well for the first goal. Um, no, it was it, yeah, no, it was his first goal. The second goal where straight off kickoff, we go one the up, straight off kickoff. Nathan Collins under hits his pass. Juan can knock it past Flecken and it's the easiest goal Juan, Juan Ki Chan will ever, ever have in his career. Um, and then Wolves almost switch off. Sometimes when you score, you are at your most vulnerable. It's an old saying, but Brentford took advantage of that and obviously got themselves back in the game. I think Wolves would have and should have defended it slightly better. It's always frustrating not to keep a clean sheet. But um, to get the third before half-time, Huang again showing really good composure. There was a moment uh, slightly earlier in the half where he, he, he was desperate to get it on his right foot and Brentford read him quite easily. I think it was Samedo went on a nice run and, and they cut it out. But showed great composure again and just slides it past the goalkeeper. And unfortunately, obviously, Huang came off injured at the, the end of the second half, uh, end of the first half. But he's added another two goals to his tally. I think, what is he on, 10 goals now? Double figures, which, you, you know, bearing in mind the whole of last season, our top goal scorer was Neves and Pedence, I think, was six in all comps. For Huang to have 10 now in the Premier League alone... Is, is a fantastic return uh, for Wolves. And hopefully, obviously, his injury is not too serious. 
to go in at half time 3 1 up is obviously great for Wolves. The second half was never, ever going to be as entertaining as the first, especially if Wolves had anything to do with it, because Gary O'Neill's going to say to him, let's sit on this. We don't need to panic. We don't need to rush. We don't need to worry. And Wolves sat back and defended extremely well. I know it was, at times, it's typical Wolves, and you get worked up. You think, flipping egg, if we could see now 3-2 with however long to go, it'd be typical Wolves for us to throw it away. Um, but we did really well and defended quite well. And I think, obviously, the introduction of Santiago Bueno for, for Dawson, who's obviously not 100% yet, it, it worked. It worked well, and, and fair play to Bueno who's coming in. It's, it's very hard for a football player just to be thrown in uh, before a game. And... Um, it looked like he'd, that he'd always been part of that back three, really. And we, we had to take, you know, wait for our opportunity. And Brentford gave us a couple of chances. Obviously, they were pushing high. Cunha was unfortunate on a couple of uh, instances. Um, one-on-ones with Ethan Pinnock. He hits the post himself. and could have so easily had a, another goal. He's been he's, he played well and got a good amount of goals away from home, Cunha, especially against teams uh, in London. Obviously, he scored uh, against Fulham as well. But and, and Palace, but um, he worked really hard. I, feel, I think he led the line quite well with Cunha. I really like his work rate, and I know he, 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 you probably want him to add a few more goals, but I really, really do rate Mateus Cunha, and he created the final goal. Great run again, an awful mistake once again from Nathan Collins. Um, how may he assist you? Cunha slides it across, and Jean-Ric Le Belgard, who, again, I thought had a really decent cameo. There was at times where I felt he could have released the ball a lot sooner, but he did, the, did what he needed to do. Um... And, and puts the ball in the back of the net and gives Wolves a 4-1 four, four win. Just did my research. I think that's the first time we scored four goals since the 4-0 win over Watford um, under Bruno Large. The first time, I think, let me very quickly get my phone out. The first time we scored four in the Premier uh, in the top flight away from home is in 1980. So it's not often you see Wolves score many goals. The fact that we scored four today um, is brilliant. Obviously, look, this is a... Poor Brentford side. It's a Brentford side that have struggled so far this season. It's also a Brentford side that have got a lot of suspensions and injuries. But historically, Wolves have never, ever taken advantage of that. So the fact that tonight we've gone away from home where we've been diabolical, not just this season, last season under Lopetegui as well, and, and turned up and put in that sort of um, ruthless performance is fantastic. And I was worried going into the Chelsea game last week that we could easily see Wolves come off the back of a, a couple of poor results and really not be in a good position. The fact that we've got six points out of the last two, one being Chelsea, one being Brentford at home, uh, away, sorry, uh, is a really good return. If we can back that up with any sort of result against Everton, whether it is a draw or whether it is a free, free points again at Molyneux, Wolves are going to be in a fantastic position going into 2024. Um... And they've really gifted us with some nice Christmas presents. Obviously, a win on Christmas Eve. It's the 27th now. Another really heavy win. Um, and I, look, I appreciate all your comments as well. I made a couple of comments at the end of the last match review about my situation mentally and how my year's been. I really appreciate everyone's comments on that. Been in a much better place over the last day or so. And, and hopefully that continues into 2024 as well. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you did enjoy your Christmas. Obviously, if this is the last video you see before the new year, hopefully it's not. But uh, enjoy your new year. But we'll have the fans react coming up, the match preview, the podcast this week. Loads coming out as well. Um, enjoy your evening, guys. Wolves 4, or should I say Brentford 1, Wolves 4. Great three points for the Wanderers. <laughs>